Hello and welcome to Z please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. An unidentified flying object was reportedly captured on camera earlier this month hovering over Air Force One as the president visited Los Angeles. Was it really a UFO tailing? The US government has denied the existence of aliens for as long as we can remember, and it appears that the extraterrestrials are not happy with President Joe Biden's constant denial. The object was described as a white or silver spear seen hovering near the president's jet during President Joe Biden's fundraising trip to Los Angeles earlier this week. Biden, Joe let's get to the bottom of it, while the president was visiting Los Angeles, two plane trackers captured strange footage of an unidentified airborne craft that appeared to hover over his plane. As soon as the video was released to the press and shared on social media, People began to wonder how the government would get out of this sticky situation, especially since everyone has seen footage of the mysterious object flying near Air Force One. The plane trackers Peter and Joshua Salarzano had set up that day to film footage at LAX as two F-35 fighter jets patrolled the skies for the commander-in-chief. They thought that filming the jets being refueled midair by a KC-1 tanker aircraft would be the highlight of their day but they never expected to film an elusive white sphere that suddenly came into view. Speculations ran high, with viewers labeling the object an extraterrestrial aircraft. Not only did the brothers record footage of it once, but three times as well. The object first emerged on screen at approximately 10.18 am local time, moving in the opposite direction above Air Force One. One of the brothers saw it immediately, though he admitted he wasn't quite sure what he was looking at. A short while later, the object was spotted again, and this time the brothers noticed its unusual movement raising concerns about Air Force One's security. Among them the brothers became fearful when the object appeared on camera for the third and final time at 11.08 am Joshua said it was moving strangely, and when they thought it was over, that's when they started to feel scared. Peter, on the other hand, wasn't afraid to call a spade a spade, he asked Joshua if he was just calling the flying object a balloon to keep certain authorities away. The Solorzano brothers, who captured the entire scene on camera, refused to comment on the footage when approached by news channels. Why did they choose to remain silent? Authorities quickly dismissed the object, calling it a balloon that went astray. After reviewing the video, Renowned UFO debunker Mick West came to the conclusion that the object's movement was most likely caused by a balloon because it was closer to the camera than the fast-moving plane in the background. Do you agree with this explanation? The Pentagon renamed Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena UAP, as UFOs and created a new division to look into these kinds of events. Unsurprisingly, since 2004, the government has discovered over 500 UAP military interactions with the ship. While some of these encounters can be attributed to random events like weather balloons or unpiloted aircraft, others are inexplicably bizarre. NASA has adopted a similar stance, rejecting the existence of UFOs and attributing the majority of the problem to inconclusive evidence. Nevertheless, the space agency recently appointed a director of UAP research and published a report outlining its intention to pursue further research into the phenomenon that could endanger U.S. airspace. The U.S. government has been rejecting reports of UFO sightings for as long as we can remember, which is surprising given the startling number of close encounters the U.S. military has had watched this leaked Navy video of an unidentified flying object that was discovered by filmmaker Jeremy Corbell. The video was taken inside the ship's combat information center and shows a spherical object flying close to the ship in choppy, windy conditions. The object then vanishes into the ocean off the coast of San Diego. Typically US officials are quick to discount UFO sightings by casting doubt on the veracity of the eyewitness, but this strategy was unable to be used this time because the sighting was caught on camera in July 2019 by a Navy personnel aboard the U.S. ship Omaha. The video was reportedly taken from a cell phone inside the ship's combat information center, a classified area where cell phone use is prohibited. 
The USS Omaha was alarmed enough to send a helicopter in its direction after witnessing a strange spherical object flying above the water and approaching the ship. However, before it could get any closer, it vanishes completely. A military official then claims in the video that the object splashed as it vanished into the water. The Omaha and a nearby submarine searched the area, but they found nothing of note. Interestingly, this UFO sighting coincided with three other U.S. warships based in San Diego reporting encounters with unidentified flying objects. This sighting reveals an exciting but scary aspect of UFOs they possess amphibious capabilities that allow them to submerse into water at will this means that while we are scouring the skies in search of UFOs and alien life they might thrive in an underwater world on Earth if you look at the UFOs movement it is unlike anything we can expect from an aircraft or a drone it can be seen maneuvering from right to left. And ascending abruptly even an atmospheric testing balloon does doesn't move like. That in addition the object instantly lost its infrared signature as it dunked into the water if it were an aircraft or drone the US Navy would have found some debris in the water or at least some pieces would show up in the thermal image but it was as if the object had actually disappeared into the water or maybe it dipped just low enough for viewers to think it went in but the object simply vanished into thin air. The idea that aliens are living underwater isn't that far-fetched if you think. About it there have been numerous sightings of UFOs in Alaska, and there has undoubtedly been underwater UFO activity reported over the last 40 years. These UFOs have been tracked underwater and have stayed underwater for a long time, evading the Navy. They are so deep that we don't know where they are going. Researchers have found compelling evidence of an underwater UFO base in Alaska. 30% of the Earth is covered with water and we have only explored a meager 5% of it. Following these reports with great interest, UFO researcher Johnny Enoch is sure that aliens have established bases deep within the Alaska Triangle. His opinion is supported by numerous eyewitness tales that have come to light over time. One of these eyewitnesses is Beverly Sue Waltz, who claims to have seen thousands and thousands of strange objects rise from the ocean's depth. As soon as she started examining them through her binoculars, the objects shot straight upward toward the sky. If Beverly's account is accurate, it indicates that we are harboring alien colonies on Earth, despite the US government and NASA continuing to deny their existence. Are we safe from these extraterrestrials? Why are they here on Earth? And most importantly, why doesn't any government if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel, and press the notification button. These questions have plagued UFO researchers and enthusiasts for years, and it seems that we aren't any closer to finding the answers today than we were 20 years ago. A pair of amateur plane trackers captured strange footage earlier this month of an unidentified airborne craft that appeared to hover above Air Force One as President Joe Biden visited Los Angeles. Unsurprisingly, speculation that it was extraterrestrial in origin began almost immediately. A few viewers are saying we saw a UFO, Peter Solorzano, who runs the YouTube channel LA Flights with his brother Joshua Solorzano, said with a laugh during the December 10th live stream. The plane spotters had set up that day to film footage at Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, as two F-35 fighter jets patrolled the skies for the commander-in-chief. While they were elated to film the jets being refueled mid-air by a KC-10 tanker aircraft, they didn't expect to capture anything as unusual as the white sphere that came into view. The Pentagon's relatively new office to investigate UFOs, which the government refers to as Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena UAP, has identified more than 500 military encounters with the crafts since 2004. While some of those reports defy an easy explanation, the Pentagon's E-All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office Paro, has said many have been determined to be natural occurrences such as unpiloted aircraft or weather balloons. NASA is similarly insistent that no conclusive evidence has yet been found to determine that any reports of UAP are extraterrestrial in origin.
However, the space agency recently hired a director of UAP research and released a report stating its intention to continue studying the phenomena that poses a potential threat to US airspace. What do you think? Was the object captured on film really a UFO tailing President Joe Biden, or was it just a weather balloon caught at the wrong place at the wrong time? Click to watch more exhilarating space videos. Thank you.